Hey guys, what's up? Today we'll be making a chopstick holder, so let's get started. So to get started, we're going to start with two pieces of paper, um, preferably have them different colours, and make sure they're both facing up. So now we're just going to pick which colour we want more dominance, so put that colour to the front, and we're just going to put it over each other and fold it vertically in half. Like so. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna unfold it. And see so that we create a crease. We just wanna keep that crease in the middle with both of them and just move the top layer, the top piece down a bit. So we can see a bit of the green. So now that you see that, we're gonna fold it in half. All the way to the green piece of paper touches the top. As you can see the sides should be quite um, straight with the other, like so. After we've done that, we're going to open it back up. Now that we have a horizontal line, from the bottom, just grab the two pieces of paper together and just fold the longer one to meet the middle point. I'm just going to fold it horizontally, like so. And now we're going to fold in the sides. So again, making sure that it doesn't overlap the other pieces of paper. And that it just touches the side of it, like this. So do the same with the left side, or right side, whichever side you guys do first. Just carefully fold it in. And it should be a vertical fold. And it should look like this. Now that we've done that, we want to turn the whole thing over and now we're gonna fold it vertically so grab one side and we want to kind of fold it into a third so around here and then so with this file just estimate really how big you want it so we just grab it and then once you're happy with it just kind of crease it down now we do the same for the other side Fold it over, it should pretty much just fold like over next to the thing. And then just fold it. And now we're going to tuck in the right side down to the left corner of this little couch. So just grab it, tuck it in, and then just fold it some more. And there you go, you've done it. You just made a chopstick holder. So this is pretty much to put your chopsticks in, so the part that you use to eat with doesn't get dirty. It also is nice to use to like for a presentation, for setting the table and whatnot. So when you get your chopsticks, just want to slide them in between the two layers like so. And there you have it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like and if you have any more video ideas, don't forget to leave a comment and if you want to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.